Hello there, my name is Ismaus and welcome to another Blender Daily Tip and today we're going to be looking at nodes in Blender. So I have this plane here and uh, what I want to do is uh, create a noise map or noise bumps uh, where we have a lot of noise on this side and then a smooth surface on this side. So we want a transition from this side to that and what we're going to do is mix two nodes together. That is the noise texture and the gradient texture. So this will help you learn about mixing different noise uh, different mixing different node, nodes. So I'm just going to change this to look dev so that we can preview the results of our nodes and uh, create a new uh, shader here, material shader. Let me reduce this music down. Material shader. And uh, what are we going to do? If you don't have this uh, shader editor, you can just drag, move your cursor above or to the corner of uh, your window like this and drag to the bottom. Just drag to split uh, the screens uh, like that, and then change this uh, to another uh, editor type, uh, which is the shader editor, uh, so that you can access the nodes. But I don't have, I don't need this here because I already have it here. So I'm just going to right click, join like that. Let me also clear, clear these annotations like that. So now what we want is to have noise blended uh, with a gradient texture. So I'm going to add in the noise texture. So shift A to access all the nodes are available to you. And then go to texture, noise texture, and then shift A texture, gradient texture. So to preview any of these nodes, you can uh, select the node, hold and control shift, and then click on that node. And you can preview that node. Uh, let's preview this here. Control shift, and then click. You can see uh, the noise are from that side. Uh, this shortcut, control shift and then click, will only be available to you if you have the Node Wrangler add-on enabled, which you can enable by going to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and then search for Node Wrangler, and click this check mark uh, to enable that add-on. Now, to blend the two nodes, uh, because remember, we want to have a transition from the noise, uh, this side to be noise, noisy, and this side to be uh, smooth, uh, we can use a blend node, so shift a uh, is under color mix rgb uh, it's not actually called a blend node it's called a mix rgb node and uh, it lets you blend different uh, nodes using different blend blending modes so right now this is our noise map and this is our gradient but uh, we can blend them together by by connecting this color map color output of the gradient uh, to this factor or color output of the noise gradient of great uh, noise texture now we can preview this mix node again by holding down control shift and then click you can see we have a blend and uh, we have this factor here that is like an opacity slider so at one opacity or one factor we are previewing uh, this color too which is a result of this noise texture and a zero zero we are previewing only the gradient texture but uh, we can blend uh, this together by just having a value between here or we can use the blending modes here available to us so there are a few blending modes here but uh, and they work slightly different and if you have used photoshop before they work exactly like photoshop for example uh, the multiply multiply blending mode just takes uh takes all the removes all the white areas of this node and replaces it with uh everything from this node so it, that's why you see that uh, we're only seeing the black sides of this node here uh, this gradient texture and if we reduce that you can see now we see the full white then the screen blend mode does the opposite you instead see the white area it makes the white areas of color one full fully opaque in this output and uh, the black areas transparent like here you can see but uh, i don't want to see this color uh, so instead of using the color output of the noise texture i'm just going to use the gradient texture like that now you can see we have that transition from a noise area to 
a more small area. Uh, to make this more contrasty, uh, or to have more contrast in this area, uh, we can add a little bit of contrast uh, from the, in the noise texture. So between the output of the noise texture and the input of the of this blend node, we can add a convert car ramp between there. And uh, this can let us control the contrast of the noise we have. You can also use uh, the settings here for the noise texture to scale up or down the noise like that. And uh, since we want to use this for the bumps, we can fit this directly into the roughness. So I'm just going to select everything here. We can select the output of this blending node and connect it directly into the normal map. Now, if we preview this by again using Control Shift to click to preview the entire principal BSDF, I see we don't see anything yet. Uh, that's because if you look at these, each of these nodes, they all have an input and an output, and uh, each of those inputs have different colors. So you can see on this node here, we have uh, this node here, uh, this node input, uh, which is of a color gray. And uh, if that node or notch has the color gray, it means it takes in both uh, the color, uh, this it takes in color information and uh, value information. So color information is anything with data that ranges from RGB, uh, that is RGB and A or RGB alpha, and then color values, and then uh, these values, just taking any value. And uh, we also have a normal input. This simply takes in normal information. So uh, because we are feeding in a color information, in color information into the normal input, that's why we are not seeing uh, anything here. So we need to find a way to convert this information into normal information. And uh, there are a few different nodes to use here. Uh, for this, we are going to use a vector bump input. And what that what this does is that it converts any of the information we feed in into it and convert it, converts it into a normal output. So can, we can bring in this color into the height map and it will convert it into a normal output that can be fed directly into uh, the normal input of our node here. Just have to wait for it to calculate here and you can see what we have. Uh, our gradient is not uh, very strong. That's why you see that uh, this is not as strong here. We have some noise. We have a lot of noise here and it starts to fade in here. So, so if we play with this, you can start to see uh, the transition. Uh, another another thing we can do is just add another car ramp here between the gradient so that we control the contrast of the gradient. Uh, that will let us control uh, the transition or where this gradient starts or where the smooth areas start. And you can see, gives us that control. Uh, if you don't want to use uh, the car ramp, uh, you can remove that using by holding down Alt and then dragging uh, that node out. It will just disconnect it uh, from the connection. Uh, we can use another node called uh, the math node. And uh, this gives you different operations. Uh, for example, right now we have the add node. Uh, let's have it and you can see what it's giving us. So it has different operations. Uh, right now we have been using the add. You can, you can experiment with other operations to see what you get. Uh, it needs to recalculate first. Let's try multiply. Has to calculate first. And even you can preview the results here. Control Shift, click this node. You can see what's going on. Uh, let's change this to power. You can see this gives us a better gradient. So if we preview the entire structure, this is what we get. So we just need to play with this. node. 
you can see now we get a better transition. I think we have achieved what we wanted to. Maybe if you want to use this in the roughness area. Let's first disconnect the normal, the normal information here so that we can see how it's affecting the roughness. Let's make this a bit darker so that we can see the reflections. Now make this metallic. Actually, if we make this metallic, we should make this a bit lighter. Yes. You can see how that is affecting the, ref the reflections. Try multiply. And I think this is giving us better results. Also remember that these values can be animated if you wanted to. Yeah, so that's some basics of nodes. Uh, I'll be doing more tutorials like this on this channel. So if you want to learn more, uh, just subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.